Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. This is another how to build video. This is how to build Roth Talia. So Roth Talia is the new collab character. She is practically built for Nofmi. Nofmi and Roth Talia are built to use with one another. When using them together, they are very, very, very strong. Anyway, let's go over our cards first. So her card, she has a flood card, same as Eskinorms, apart from different multiplier. The multipliers are actually much lower as she scales with defense, and defense can be much higher than attack in most cases. Well, it can get too higher than attack. And here for Sever card, she doesn't crit very often, but when she does, the Sever card can do a lot of damage. Her armor is actually very good. It is like Mika's Assault, but AoE. Which is, if you don't know what Mika's Assault is, it's single target, it does the exact same thing. It actually hits pretty hard. Let's look at her stats. So you're probably thinking she has a lot of crit chance. Why, why doesn't she crit, crit very often? We'll get into that later. I'll tell you why. Uh, bad pierce rate. Her stats aren't the best overall, but she's definitely she can definitely hit very hard. If you use her correctly, she can definitely hit very hard. Uh, her passive. So this is where her passive starts to get. Um, this is where she, her usefulness starts to explode. Increase allies' max HP by thirty percent of the hero's defense at the start of the turn. Start battle. Sorry. Decrease all damage taken by thirty percent if all allies are the same attribute. So if all allies on the field are speed attribute. Boom, you take 30% less damage, which is actually pretty good. If you mix that with like Tarmiel, a uh, blue Tarmiel, you can get a lot, a lot of damage reduction. And this is her passive. So her passive is increase the damage dealt by allies on the field by 40%. Sorry, her relic. Um, if the ally assumes a stance. So, if uh, sorry, not me, assumes a stance. 40% more damage for your entire team. I don't think it stacks, but if it could stack, Let's say, let's say it's stacked, right? That's 80% you could get, which is super good. Especially for Nalfami. Nalfami with a stance, he buffs his team as well. Bro, it's, it's end. Like, you, you couldn't, I was playing today uh, PvP with uh, Nalfami and Raftalia. Just trying them out. I uh, tried them with um, Blue Tomia. And I was against a Philo team. A Philo team in Ungeared is very good. But I think this team excels more because of the damage reduction. The 30% damage reduction with all the stat increases and blue guild thunder and back is stupid. It's very good. Uh, you don't need a high level. She is only 1-6. Her ultimate still hits decently hard. Uh, let's look at her gear. So I do have all crit chance. So she can create, as you can see, there's a lot of added crit chance. Uh, yeah, 41% added crit chance is quite a bit. Obviously, I don't have the outfits. I might get them. I'm still not sure. Uh, obviously defense rolls and HP rolls. So I say for Raftalia, you mainly want to focus on the defense and HP rolls. The crit chance rolls, of course, you know, get them like decent percent like what I've got, but you don't have to put anvils in them straight away. I would, or hammers, sorry. I would highly recommend you get these two up. So that means uh, she boosts her team more and then she'll be um, a better support character. Leveling up these two defense pieces, like uh, the stat, will heavily boost your team. As well as you getting... Uh, these outfits and getting them all to uh, 210 percent, uh, sorry, 210 defense, it will all make quite a big difference later on. Overall, you probably wouldn't. Her outfits aren't too bad. Okay, so about enough me and Rough I'm going to talk about this now. Outfits. This collab only comes with three outfits, all right. But obviously, you have the SSR one, the UR one, and then they always give a free outfit for every character. So as you can see here, we have the SR one, this one, and this is not free, but you can buy some with diamonds, so it's practically free. And then you have these two paid ones, meaning that she can have five, uh, practically five weapons, because she is based off defense. Weapons mean absolutely nothing to her, and cosmetics, obviously she'll be missing one, but that's not really too big of an issue. Pardon me, overall, if you are just summoning on, um, if you're summoning on uh, Rising of the Shield Hero, right? And you pull Nalf me, you're like, oh, should I go for Philo or should I go for Raftalia? I highly recommend Raftalia. Because, let's just say the next festival is a broken blue unit. It's going to be, it's going to be endgame. Nalf me by himself is a one-man army with Raftalia, it, it's unstoppable. Raftalia does die very frequently. But it's still not too bad as Nalf me can still solo it. Which I think is probably super good. The fact that he can just solo entire teams. His ultimate's also very powerful at 1-6. Uh, Raftalia's ultimate's good when she crits. When she crits, her ultimate can hit really hard, because that 50% increase is also based on her... It'll also increase her defense by 50%, plus let's just say you've got enough me taunt. It's endgame. He's very... She's very good. I highly recommend her if you've got her to level her up, just because she's a decent unit overall. 
she might be useful later on. Obviously, you don't have to use her with Nafumi. Obviously, it'd be best to use her with Nafumi, as that would help her a lot. But you don't have to. You could use her with all blue units, say blue Tarmiel, and any other blue unit, because her passive isn't her passive and her relic are not restricted to uh, Nafumi or anything like that. But obviously, he does boost them heavily. Anyway, thank you for watching this how to build video. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.